Hello knitters, I am here to show you a scarf that I'm knitting and I am using a, a relatively new edge on that scarf and that's called the distitch edge or distitch selvage. Uh, this technique is put together by a lady, her name I don't know how to pronounce correctly but it spells a S S I A, I think Asia, and her last name is Brill. So she has a free YouTube video that you can look in how to work the this stitch. She also has put a book out there, very nice, very well written. But for this Angora scarf that I'm knitting, I just want to show you that I'm using her salvage, and you can see here how beautiful the selvage is. It makes a very nice and neat selvage, see? It's a stretchy. So that's what I chose for my simple scarf. Uh, since the Angora uh, is a statement already, I think, for the fiber, and this Angora has several colors blended in, I just chose a two by two, Nitio Pro 2, uh, motif for that and I use the this stitch salvage so let me show you how I do this okay uh, really what's gonna happen is going to be on the last stitch but I'm gonna work with you until there because the first stitch you have to slip as if to purl and you want to keep the stitch kind of a stretch it and loose now I'm going to do my pattern which is knit 2 pro 2 and it's a chance that I have to chat with you review the stitch and the pro so again my this is what I call my TV or my audiobook pattern because I don't have to think much I love this beautiful yarn it's very smooth and it's going well with those needles love my pointy stiletto signature needles and it's a nice project to work with you can see as i'm working the fibers are flying away from the angora if you don't know fibers that are from animals that live in cold climate should be kept also in a cold climate uh, I know some knitters that keep sweaters or Angora projects in the freezer. I don't go to the extreme, but you don't want to leave in your garage or in your attic in the summer because the yarn, the fiber is going to damage. Okay, so I'm finished here. I'm talking to you. Remember, the first stitch, I slipped as if to purl. I work my pattern throughout. The this stitch salvages happens now. You have two stitches hanging below the stitch that is on the, hand, the left hand needle. I'm going to get the stitch that is closer to the needle. I'm going to put here together with the last stitch and knit the two together. If you want to know how to set up, there is a setup row to that happen, to make that happen. Uh, please watch Mrs. Brill uh, video. She gives you the pattern, she gives you a scarf for free, but my intention here is how I work the this stitch salvage using the Portuguese style. Okay, I am going to turn around and repeat this once again because this row now is going to happen every row. So again, the secret is not to pull this tight, leave it loose. And I'm going to go work my pattern until the, the last stitch. And the way she set up the this stitch, I think that's how you say it. You uh, have two strands hanging on the stitch in the row below. And by pulling one strand and working together with the actual stitch on the left hand needle, 
you make that beautiful selvage. I'm halfway done through this row. And like I was saying, if you have 100% Angora, if you have Kiviuk, if you have uh, musk ox, those animals are from cold climate and you should keep your fiber in the cold, as cold as you can. Otherwise the fiber may disintegrate. We're getting to the end and I'm going to show you the this stitch salvage again. Pick up the stitch. You see two stitches hanging below my actual stitch on the left hand needle. I'm going to get the stitch that is closer to the stitch on the left hand needle. Put it there and work together very loosely and kind of stretch. Okay, so this is my demonstration. I had this request from you guys. I hope this helps. I'm going to show you this again. And I think it would be useful for not only for scarves, the scarves for sure because both edges are visible all the time. But even to put two sides of a sweater together it's a nice and clean edge. I didn't darn my ends in yet because I'm not done, but here it is. Okay, if you have questions, uh, email me andreawongknits at gmail.com. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for my newsletter. And I'll see you in the next video.